a certain um, cohort of students that continuously get suspended. And it's a small percentage, but it's the same kids over and over. And it is usually minority students. And so um, being able to kind of break that cycle, it's not working. If they're getting suspended numerous times within a year, it's not working. So we have to do something different, and this is something different. And to me, it's worth a try to see if we could change that and break that cycle. We um, selected a, a group of about 20 students last year to go through the initial um, training of the circle keepers. Fourth quarter of the year we started doing um, running circles and we concentrated primarily last year on attendance related circles. It kind of gave the students a choice of doing um, a circle rather than a habitual truancy conference that we traditionally would have, so it, it gave them an option. Um, so this year we trained a new batch of about 20 students in the fall and winter and have been running circles second semester and um, this year we've kind of expanded our circles to be more than just attendance related circles. We have circles around conflict, we've had circles just purely for support for students that are feeling maybe isolated within the school environment and we've had um, circles, goodbye circles for kids that have left the school. Um, we've had reaching potential circles for just kids that um, you know, we feel that have that um, extra potential and um, maybe aren't exhibiting it right now, but we know it's within them. Uh, we had some adult-led circles having to do with conflict, um, where we felt like our circle keeper, it was um, maybe too big of issues for our circle keepers to take on themselves, but um, felt it was important maybe coming back from a suspension. Um, a, I can remember a group of kids that were just continuing to have um, conflict with one another and were able to, you know, work that out in, within the circle and haven't had issues since. So, you know, this student in particular, um, since the time I had met him when he started in sixth grade, um, was homeless. Um, he was in and out of shelter. He was in and out of motels. He was in and out of um, relatives' houses. He was sleeping on the couch, on the floor, wherever. And um, he was coming to school pretty angry and frustrated. And the, the student was actually one of my probably strongest circle keepers last year. He went through the training and he um, was running circles himself and I was doing some individual support with him as well and it just came up in one of our individual sessions um, and I can't honestly remember if it was his idea or my idea but um, mutually we decided that it would be nice to try doing a circle and so um, he was able to invite um, family members and we had teachers there and I remember um, it was really towards like the last week of school that we pulled one of the circles together and it was very emotionally powerful because um, I remember specifically his quote at the end of that circle when we were going around and sharing our experience with the circle was I, I never knew that these people in this room cared so much and um, so it gave him the opportunity to hear from his teachers that they really did care about him. I think the circle gave him the opportunity to kind of share, well this is the reason why I'm late some days. You know, I don't get to sleep until really late at night because there's too much commotion going on in the living room where I'm sleeping on the couch or I don't know exactly if I'm going to get into the shelter tonight because I'm not sure if my mom's going to make it by one o'clock because she's also got to work. And I mean there's a lot of things that go into it and so him being able to express some of the things that he was going through in the circle process really um, gave his teachers a different perspective on what he was going through and I think were, made it um, easier for him within the classrooms because everyone kind of knew what was going on and it wasn't such a secret for him anymore. And um, this school year um, was a strong circle keeper again, had asked for some more follow-up circles. I, we did I think two, maybe even three circles for him this school year and I think that's the power of you know doing the follow-up circles too is to kind of check in, make sure things are going well and, and to offer continued support. This year it was uh, student-led 
circles rather than um, adult-led circles that we had for him, so we kind of progressed to that level, but um, the goodbye circle that I was talking about was actually for this student. He, um, I'm very happy to say, found housing um, about a month ago and for the first time since I've known him and um, they are actually settled in and going to a different school district now and we had a goodbye circle for him and that was also very powerful to be able to um, send him away with support and um, his mother and I continue to talk and I just got word from her last week. I went actually to see him last week and um, his mom told me that he's getting an award and being honored at MATC this weekend and so I'm very, very proud of him. So I see um, students, my the students that have been trained as circle keepers talk time and time again about how they benefit personally from the leadership role um, and what that has done to them both um, with their own um, attendance and grades and um, you know just ability to problem solve all those things I think are impacted. The students that are referred to the circle that have agreed to be there I think um, you know I'm thinking of another you know, success story from this year of a student who um, came to the circle pretty resistant initially. She said, okay, I agree, but I'm not really going to talk much. And I think the first circle, she wasn't as open and really kind of talked about like how it was hard for her to express herself, but she knew she needed to express herself. And so um, in the follow-up circle, I felt like she was able to get a little farther, a little deeper, and um, since that circle, she went from like a 1.5 GPA up to a 3.0 GPA. I think she really identifies the circle as being a, a part of a lot of things that were going on for her at that time to help in moving her in the right direction and motivating her to make change. I think, um, a benefit for staff is for staff to see kids in a different light. I really feel privileged to sit in circles and it amazes me what comes out of them because I can sit back and just watch um, the process unfold and just know, trust it and know that it's gonna um, it's gonna move kids in a different direction than our busy day-to-day -day lives that sometimes happen in schools. But I see time and time again where circles maybe more so than even seeing a percentage increase in their attendance or a you know a GPA increase like I just talked about. I see that engagement to, in school um, be better like another circle I'm thinking of of a student that we just offered support who was feeling pretty isolated. Um, she had a follow-up circle and after that follow-up circle she said no I don't I don't think I need another follow-up circle I'm feeling really supported. Ideally I think restorative practices and circles um, would become a part of our day-to-day -day at the Senate and it would be um, part of our culture and climate and um, would be able to engage staff and students and kind of everyone so that everyone felt that they were important and necessary and I think that's one of the challenges with restorative circles is educating everyone on what they really are and I think once you are part of a circle you're sold um, I think giving kids options always is, is powerful and giving them the option of you know this is a suspension or we could have a circle and really come together and work on those things together I think is really powerful so I would really like this district to move in the di direction of um, having that as an alternative to suspensions for students and um, probably not in every instance but I would think in the majority of the instances we could offer a circle.